presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, if you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Everyone has you have the right to ask. Sorry about that. What they want and you have the right to ask. Okay, let's do it again. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to say yes and no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. I know that card by heart. I don't know it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down seven. 13, NASDAQ off 528, S&P's off 109. Gold, gold contract up $10.50, trading at 2,483 an ounce. We have silver down 45 cents, 28 dollars 48 cents an ounce. Late sweet crude off a buck 30, 76 dollars 61 cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note up 28 ticks, 112.22. The 30 year up a full point plus 24 ticks at 122.17 in King Dollar. King dollars up 305 ticks at 104.401, euro 107, yen 149, British pound 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. So in the world of the S&Ps, let's go take a look at them here. This has been a one-way trip downtown, folks. And, you know, as I was saying a little bit ahead, let me show you this first, because... You want to really understand what's going on in the world. When we were up this morning, folks, okay, you get, I mean, see these numbers? I want you to look at the number two and number three here. These are the numbers in Europe. The Nikkei was down 2.4% last night. Uh, Hank saying only two tenths of 1%, and the a CSI was six tenths. But the European numbers, are, the DAX had already been down. The DAX was down 1.8. It ended up being down 2.3. When we get markets that are up, particularly like we, we were up good, and Europe's down and Asia's down, you know, bottom line. My take on it is that I go against it. I say, it's okay, this thing's going down. So now let's go to the E-mini. Take a look at it. Okay, so we've had a one-way trip all the way down. No bounce whatsoever. Now the real question is coming into the close, because if you can get a point three eight two bounce, you're going to have quite a bounce here, man. The real question is, you know, we're at uh, 5453, and a 0 0.382 is 5504. <laughs> so that's pretty intense co co compared to where we are. You're rounding it up right now. We'll see how this thing shakes out. I expect that we'll get at least to, what, 5479. That was the last little blurb we had up there. We go to the NQs. Yeah, it's rounding up too, man. So the NQs, 868 was the low so far. I suspect we're going to get to this uh, 19034. That's where the last bounce was. And there's, there's a little volume there. We'll see. I, I suspect they're going to get it going. Because it's very unusual when you do go one way without any type of bounce at all. 
And what's happening here, what will be really intriguing here, is that if we do get it, folks, what it's going to be all about, it's going to be all about those jobs numbers in the morning. That's what it's going to be about, because the job numbers come out at 8.30 in the morning. Um, you know, inside the NDX 100, we take a look at it, was jamming it here. You got Moderna's off 20%. 20% one, look at this, 20%, and then Arms Holdings is off 17%. This is like insane. Lamb Research is off 11%. Qualcomm's off 11%. These are monster numbers, man. Monster numbers. Boy, oh boy, when they go down, they go down, man. Look at this. Arm Holdings, so Arm Holdings, and three weeks has just gone from 188 to 119. Moderna, you're gonna see this thing, man. Let's look at this. Man. So in three months, this has gone from 170 to 94. Okay, let's go into the NQs, the futures first. See if they can get something going. Yeah, they're going to try to get something going here, man. We'll see how this shakes out. So I said the first, the first I, I suspect we'll get to the first swing point. That's only 19 all three, four. It'd be interesting if we can actually get to the second one. If we take a look at this, now this is what you're also, let, let's look at this, because this is where, whoops. Okay, so if we take a look at the cues, what you're going to see here. So last week, you see last week there we did the 59 million? Well, we're coming into that. You know, two days ago we did the uh, 41. Now we're gonna we're over 41 right now, but you're still dealing with that 59 million. That's what we're dealing with, and this is a last engulfing, by the way. If you're into candlestick charting, what happens is this: is that when you get downdrafts, this is actually a bullish occurrence. <laughs> that you start higher, you get lower, you're coming into another uh, swing point that's contracting with volume. So I know it's it's that's telling me that we're gonna get another bounce, meaning that. This might be the exhaustion move right here for this. You get another bounce, bounce is on light volume. I don't think, we'll, my take is we're not done going all the way down, but we're done with this part of it. I suspect, uh, what's the date here? Okay, one second, we wanna do this. Because the, oh yeah, it's perfect, man. Because it's August 1st, right? Yeah, it's gonna be window dressing too. Yeah, yeah, this is, <laughs> This is going to be wild watching how this baby shakes up. Let's go to the gold market and take a look at gold. So gold, the contract itself, it's up 11.90. This is not bad. This is holding up good, man. Particularly for the market that we're in. This is that's they got 200,000 contracts. That's what you need, man. So now we're approaching the highs that have been hard to get taken out with. 206,000 contracts. That's good contract volume, no doubt. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward, too. We have the Dow Industrials right now uh, down 658. NASDAQ off 487. S&Ps are off uh, 100. Man, you got to love volatility, man. Thank you, God. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archive live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. The stock market is a delicate interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. 
When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Industrial down 674, Nasdaq's off 493, S&Ps are off 101. Let's go inside the Dow Industrials and take a look at the strength versus the weakness. And, of course, it's all weakness out here today. So point-wise, inside the Dow Industrials today, let's see what we got going on here. Okay, so you're going to have uh, Caterpillar, that's uh, minus 108 points. You got Home Depot, 89, uh, Boeing, 89, Goldman, 84, Salesforce, 59. Let's go to Caterpillar. I want to see what's going on here, man. Actually, I want to go to Home Depot first. So we'll take a look at Home Depot. Oh, yeah, look at this. Same type of last engulfing. Yeah, no doubt. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, you can uh, get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord, O R D, hyphen oracle.com. That's Ord, hyphen oracle.com. Tim Ward, what's going on, brother? Oh, sorry. Okay, cool. Who, who do I have? Yeah, I'll get it out. One second, sorry. Uh, go ahead, just jump on. Who, who am I speaking with? Uh, John, how are you doing? Hey, John, how are you doing, man? Really good. How about yourself? Awesome. What are we going to look at today? Uh, it's A, P as in Paul, D as in dog, APD. APD. Okay, so let's take a look at it. You got air products and chemicals, okay, industrial, especially gases and materials. The lows 212, the highs 307. You're trading 284 on a bad market day, which is pretty cool. <laughs> okay, look at this. So tell me what you're doing with this thing. Uh, put option. Just because it went up? Or what? It's just such a huge gap in the general market conditions. I just don't believe it can sustain that. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I'm trying to figure out why profit jumps despite lower sales. Okay. So they came in with a good profit. I get, I get what you're saying. Okay, so let's see. So if we take this, we put this back a bit. Okay. 286. Well, at this point here, it's not bad. If you can, if you, this can stay under 286, 61, it's pretty good. Because that's what the swing that it took out, and then it gave it up today. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. 
So, yeah, I'd stay there because I can see what the, this has a high volume low at 202, 212. And the top of that is 228. So, yeah, I, I get it. Probably people so, have probably jumped um, on this because it was the yeah. only green stock in the whole marketplace. <laughs> yeah, and I mean, that's just an enormous gap. And of course, that, you know, Typically, those gaps have to get filled, and I just feel like this is this market is swinging back and forth like crazy right now. No, it is. There's no doubt about that. Let me just see what they did here. So they they came in with big numbers. That's what's going on here. Not that big though. They were three billion. Okay, okay. Three dollars and twenty cents to the bottom line. That's what that's what people are liking right now. Yeah. Hey, listen. That that was the way to do it in the option market, though. There's no doubt because if that does close under this, and it looks like it's gonna. That's going to give you a shot because it, it should have closed. It should close over that swing point and it's not holding it. And that's good when it's not holding it because you could just, yeah, this could be a quick trade for tomorrow morning, really. Yeah. So That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> there you go, man. Well, listen, I appreciate the phone call. You have a great one and a safe one, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Did we get Tim L? That's a beautiful thing. Let's go to our man, Mr. Tim Ord, folks, as we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And don't forget, you get hold of Tim every trading day at Ord, R-D, hyphen, oracle.com. That's Ord, hyphen, oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, it's a wild market out here. Yeah. Um, I guess we, we can take a look at the charts, kind of see where we are. That's a beautiful thing. I'm ready. I get the first one up, Tim. All right. Uh, okay, uh, this, is, this is what kind of been... I'm going off. It works. I've been doing this for years, but you know, the top window is a 10 day trend. Yes. And, and right below that, uh, the SPY, but anyhow, in a nutshell, uh, trend readings of 1.2 or higher usually forms the lows. And so that's two weeks of, of pretty bearish trend readings. And right now, when I made this chart, it was 107. Okay. So, uh, I have the pink areas across the chart showing times when the 10-day trend and actually the 21-day trend both got in bullish territories. So that's when both of them got above 1.2. Uh, the 21-day trend usually picks out the longer-term bottoms, but the 10-day trend can pick out the longer-term bottoms and actually even the short-term bottoms. So I rely on that the most. And so in the blue area right now, you got the 21-day trend at 104, which is almost neutral, and you got the 10-day trend at 107. So there's really no panic here, even though the market's declined. Uh, we're not to a level that, to a point where there's a worthwhile bottom forming. So uh, short term, you know, you know when, when everybody's exiting, the, you know, the uh, door, I guess, the, uh, when everybody's selling, yes. is a perfect time to look to get in the market. We're not even close to it right now. So uh, even though the market could bounce short term, doesn't have to, we're not to, uh, we're not, have not reached a fear level yet uh, to drive the trend up to 1.2. So Right. Let, let me uh, ask you, we got a couple of targets asking about that. We know on, on a two-day trend, we're going to be over three. So that's a little fear there, right? Yeah. yeah. That means uh, uh, that, that could be a short-term bounce uh, on a near-term basis here. So and actually, I went short yesterday, and the trend was 1.22 and 367 down tick readings. And the market didn't bounce. I thought today would be an up day. Right. And right. Uh, the market didn't bounce. Uh, so, But you get two days of trend over three a lot of times, especially in uptrends. It's a lot of times you'll get a bounce. So it could be just whipping back and forth here. I'm not really bearish on a bigger, longer term, I think. This is a, basically a correction or an uptrend, so we'll we'll get to a level probably where the, both the ten day, twenty one day trend is probably above one point two, and this this, this two day trend because it's only two days, you got two days of panic, and it only may mean you know a one or two day bounce. Uh, so it, it's bring it on! Be a long, that, that'd be so uh, cool. It's the same. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's so, great having a two-way market, Tim. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah, kind of, you guys, that's, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. So that's what happens in trading range. So I don't think this is a big smash uh, to new lows in the market. I think this is just, uh, you know, it's going to whip everybody silly probably over the next couple of weeks or months or whatever. 
So yes, I, no, it, I, it gets uh, people nervous, which we, which has to happen, right? That's the that's, that's the right. bottom well, line. Exactly right. That's a good point. It has to happen. If right. it doesn't happen, right. that's it, it'll happen and tell everybody. <laughs> you no, know, you know, I log it up. You know, I'm out of here. <laughs> and when everybody says I'm out of here, that's when you step in. Exactly. So, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. But here, here's some clues. Let's go to chart two real quick. Okay. Uh, hey, we're running out of time. No, don't worry. We get plenty of time. We get, it's only, yeah, I mean, that might be a first segment, but don't worry about that. See that? You got that down pat. That's all right. You stay right there, man. Tim Lloyd, Tom right. O'Brien, we do appreciate the growl on a problem with us out here, folks. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down 639. NASDAQ's off 458. S&Ps are off 92. Tim and I come right back, folks. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters Letters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels. You'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns. You'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry Pesavento Friday, July 12th and Friday, July 26th, 9 a.m. to noon Eastern Time for three hours of live trading. For this month only, use promo code LarryJuly24 at checkout to save $50 on your first month subscription. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Tom O'Brien Show is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Lloyd, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate the growl and the problem with us out there. We have the Dow down at 620. NASDAQ's up 447. S&Ps are off 90. 
And I have the second shot up here, Tim. Actually, you know, the two-day trend, I went, yesterday it was 1.24, and we're, run, we're at uh, 1.6, approximately 1.60 right now. So we're still below three. So the more degree, uh, this is a two-day trend, more degree below three, the less chance that you'll have a three-day trend. Uh, a bounce here short term so so uh, let me ask you so the close here you had 1.2 you had 1.24 yesterday yeah i got 1.62 interesting okay uh, where, where'd you get yours at bloomberg yeah uh, they move uh, around though i know let me see what dan has one second dan what did you have yesterday um yeah and it, it, it's interesting how these things different you know, yeah, Dan had 1.62 yesterday, too, though. I don't know. But, but yeah, but if he's Bloomberg, then you, you both have the same. I got mine off the stock charts. Yeah. And that's yeah. The, the one I use. I got it. Okay, so, cool. That's I got it. And that's what Tim so just what, said there. That's what, important. Stay consistent to the one. Yeah, that's no matter what it is. If you stay consistent, you're 10 times better off. Right. All right. Right. Yeah. yeah. What what was what's your reading right now or do you have one? Yeah, no, I do. Uh right now we we are at 1.48. Okay, I have 1.59. Okay. Yeah, you can see this. Uh, that's closer. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know about your your guys but mine comes up about 1. Point, or 2.8 or something thereabouts. Yeah. Uh, so um you know, the more, uh, so I don't know, but if they rally here on the close and that trend drops down again, you know, exactly, no, not exactly. Not. but right. anyhow, let's look at chart two. Okay. I have it. All right. Chart two, the top window is that it's a weekly chart. It's the national association of active investors, managers, exposure index. And back on July 1st, we had 103.63, I think, uh, I forgot what the high was. This is on weekly charts. Yeah, I think the high came in what July twelfth or something. Yes. So, but this is a weekly chart. So, um, but anyhow, what I was trying to point out on this chart, when the exposure index right now, as of I guess on a weekly time frame, uh, this is updated every day. So we're coming in approximately about well, eighty four right now, but. Mm -hmm. Previous lows happen, worthwhile lows happen when this index got below or got at that point sixty uh, percent or lower. Okay, and that's all those 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 dots. Those kind I of see a, them. Yep, the dots on the blue right, line, the, right? Yeah, right. So I went back and looked. You know, we, we got a top, which I marked with red lines, and what was the next bottom? Well, that, those are the red dots, or they're not dots. I see. I dots. see. Interesting. Right. Wow. So. So we're, you know, at least we have to get down to point six. In other words, uh, when the National Association of Visual Investors get to 60% invested or less, it, which is kind of a similar indicator. Right. You know, uh, so when you get 6% or less, that's a, that's a sentiment sign that, yeah, you're probably getting close to a low. Right now, they're still in the 80%. Thereabouts. This is cool, man. So, yeah, right. Yeah, so so I'm I'm trying to figure out, you know, there isn't enough fear in the market. I put it that way. Yep. So when you and when you're looking at this, another kind of, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Tim. All right. Uh, the next chart uh, is chart three, and this is kind of another sentiment chart. So we're looking at uh, professional money managers are not quite right because yep. there's not enough fear in those guys. And this uh, the bottom window. Is the or is the yeah the equity put call ratio readings, and the bottom window is a twenty one day, next window up is a five day, so five days a little bit more responsive, uh, but both those need to get around point the bottom one which is twenty one days of equity. In other words, how many people are it kind of measures the uh, the measures the individual investors put buying and call buying. Yes, so the more put buying they have. The more bearish they are on the market, right? They're the they're the best counter traders you can get. So when they get on on really on the bearish side, you want to go bullish. When they get around the bullish side, you want to go bearish. Yes. So right now, the twenty one day, which is basically what that's a whole month. That's point six right now. It needs to get up to about point seven. Okay. And the five day, which is basically a week, 
and then you get around 0.8, and they're 0.69. So, and this is as of today, so they're not bearish here either. So, uh, to me, you know, you want to short every rally. I don't know, every rally, but. No, I'm with uh, you. Yeah, not, right, right, right. Yeah, so there's it's not right for a bottom yet. So let's look at the bigger picture. Okay, I'm trying to get everything in here. Uh, this, okay, page for uh, page for chart four is I bring this up all the time. Uh, this is a monthly chart. This is the uh, SPX in the middle window. The bottom window is the SP, SPX VIX ratio, and the month ended yesterday. Yes, and, and the SVs did close. Uh, July did close above June, so he made higher highs and higher closes. Well, the ratio made lower highs, lower closes. Look at and that. That's what happens at yep. uh, worthwhile tops. That so was substantial, too. Uh, I, I have a line, kind of a blue line, if you go to the current time frame. I have a blue line grow, growing across that chart, which is some previous highs we had in, you know, basically, basically looks like about January, February, March period yes which is around 5250 uh that's kind of a sport area so that's kind of a, a it was a base back then and we finally broke through it and we may come back down to it and that's what i'm thinking that's what may happen okay in in uh, in the coming weeks so let's take a look at the short term and see if that makes any sense okay so that's chart five i have it so uh anyhow the blue area you know, actually, I went uh, before. I thought we might bottom around, you know, the five thirty, five forty area. Well, the, the chart on the monthly chart just quite a bit of support at five fifty two fifty, which is uh, fifty two or uh, five hundred twenty five on the SPY. Yes. So I drug that blue area down a little bit more, and this is actually down. There's quite a few trend readings down that region. So I think there's this whole there's a support or there's panic area between five. Five two five all the way up to five four five. That's where all the the trend readings uh, reach yeah. levels that that have reached panic. And so far, the ten day has reached panic yet. But I, I think we may go actually down to five two five. You know, it's so cool, uh, Tim. If you if you look at look at the trading day from uh, the eleventh, no, the thirty first of May. That's at that's five two seven. Okay. And that's the last day that we had huge volume on the way up. Isn't that wild? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow's down 590. NASDAQ off 420. S&P's off 84. Tim and I come right back, folks. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds for both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. 
That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Tim Moore, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. I'm on the fifth chart, Tim. All right. Is there something else, too? Look at the, the bottom window. Okay. Um, the, uh, that's just the big straight out. Yes. And if you notice, the S&Ps has not broke below the previous low we had here end of July. You know, say, like, like about July 25th or whatever yes. that is. That low we had one, two, three, uh, three, what, six days ago? Yes. Yeah, look, right. So we're higher than that low right now as we're, as we're talking. I can see that, yeah. The VIX, uh, and if you look at the VIX, the VIX is higher than that low right so the VIX is making a higher high but the SPX is not or the, yeah the, the SPX has not made a lower low yet so the VIX leads the SPX that suggests that the last low we had on the SP will be broken now for instance if the SPs were making a lower low today compared to a, you know a week ago yes and the and the VIX was making a, a lower high that would be bullish you get what i'm saying what a cool ratio yes i do tim and and folks remember right. that if you're in your car this program's archived and remember that we also take this segment and we put it out separately on youtube so you can just listen to this whole segment because that right there is huge info man yeah i get it right yep. yeah so i don't know what tomorrow's going to bring it but at some point we're going to break last week's flow yes and, and maybe that'd be good because you know the faster we get panicked in the market, the faster we'll get to a low. Right. But, you know, this thing just drags around. And we're starting to get panicked, you know, a lot better than we did a couple of weeks ago. Or actually a couple of weeks ago, we were still going up. But but uh, so I don't know what's, what's going to happen. But short term, I bet we break last week's low. And we may get down to that, you know, the monthly chart says we may get to 5, you know, 525. Yes. So. Uh, if that's the case, then that's when everything should really blow out. You know, the the uh, equity put call ratio readings should get up to right. You know, point eight or higher. The those investment managers should be below sixty percent invested. You know, everybody should be running for the hills and stuff. Exactly. And uh, and so so we'll pick this low out as as you know time pushes forward here. All right. And as and Tim's saying, agree, folks, if we do it right, nobody will agree with us. No, no, I know. And as Tim's saying here, if you meander around here, folks, okay, that's the building cause part for the next leg down. That's what's so dangerous. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. you either got to get the flush. If you don't get the flush and you start moving around, that's like, okay, you know, it's building confidence. It's building pressure. It's building cause. And that cause, because as Tim is explaining, that that low hasn't really been touched, tested yet. That's where that thing comes. So it's pretty cool really getting your head wrapped around that. Nice. Oh, yeah. So, okay. But, yeah, so we got a lot going on in S&P, so I don't think this is, you know, a bottom. I mean, uh, it, it could be – it's just going to be a mush market. As far as the short position I got on yesterday, Yeah. you know, if, if I get short-term panic here, I'm out again because I think the market is not going to go have a deep retracement. I think the market is just going to bounce around. And if you notice, uh, I have a gap. If you look at the – chart five yes. towards the top of the chart there. I got, you know, a gap up there. You know, we haven't touched that gap yet. 
So we'll go up and touch it. You know, I don't know when, or maybe you know, we find we get through the final bombs, we'll go up and hit it. But I'm thinking we will go down to 525, and we rally up to 560. You know, up, you know, and can't get through it, come back down. So I'm thinking this whole thing is just going to be a sideways trading range. But time will tell. Yep, for so. sure. Now, Tim, when you're talking about the gap, are you talking about the gap right from the very top of the S of the spy? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, so that that number that would be uh, well, yeah, five sixty two. Eighteen is is the bottom of that gap. Okay, cool. Okay, well, man, that'll be cool. Yeah, so. Man, if this is a trading yeah. range, we're going to be in heaven, man. <laughs> yeah, but if you know yesterday's, uh, if you compare the volume uh, yesterday, yes, co compared to that gap we had down last week, well, actually last Wednesday we gapped down. Right. I took those. I took all the shaded areas off because the card. It was getting too busy. Yes. Man, we tested that gap yesterday on lighter volume. That's one of the reasons why I went short. Exactly. So, exactly. So, so I thought they were going to try to rally today. Then uh, they tried off this morning, couldn't do it. But, again, the VIX is hitting well, the you higher hit it, high. Well, you hit it perfectly getting shot. Yeah. So <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, it, you know, the, the market gives you clues if you know what to look for. So, anyhow, um, let's go to chart six. Okay. This is kind of short. Uh, short term, only got two charts on it. Not a lot to say, but other than I think S and P's or the uh, GDX may halfway. F I think G GDX will outperform the S and P's, but if you have really strong down days, I think GDX could be affected. But yes. in general, we're, we're in an uptrend here. Uh, the bottom window is a monthly cumulative advanced decline. It gave a buy signal on May 31st. I also have a weekly uh, cumulative. Uh, advanced decline. It gave a buy signal on March 18th. And both of them right now, the weekly and the monthly, is on a buy signal. And the top one, though, is a monthly cumulative up down volume. Gave a buy signal on May 31st. The weeklies gave a buy signal on, on March 18th also. Uh, the weeklies, the minimum, once they flip to bullish, the minimum rally, they have, a, the, yeah, the minimum rally that has occurred was one and a half years. So if you get triggered on March 18th, that would imply the market will rally at minimum one and a half years from that signal, which would put you in September of 2025. Actually, the same signal works on the monthly chart, which is a minimum year and a half. If you do that signal, that would take you to uh, uh, November of 2025. We'll take that. So we got at least... Yeah, we'll take that. So we both got, you know, you got a year and a half of rally. Not every day is going to be an up day, but in general, this market's going to go higher. So well, you know what's cool? Uh, so cool today. I mean, for a really, you know, this is a this is a bad market out here today. And the GDX, Tim. Okay, so we're down sixty five cents, but check it out. You're down sixty five cents with only fourteen million shares, man. Which is so cool. I mean, pff, that's like a joke. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah it's pretty good. Yeah, it's just the market's. Uh, yeah, it's just yesterday we actually had a good day, kind of a sign of a strength day, kind of. But yeah, we're down today, so. Um, but minimally you know, compared to the market, right? I mean, do you know what yeah, I mean? Minimum is a year and a half. Uh, so we're we're going to you know we're going to go on for a while. I was going to show the uh, bullish percent index for the gold miners index. Good. Okay. And and uh, I think for, uh, like 91% are on buy signals, which is okay. Okay. But when it gets up to 95% or higher, you got to look out. Okay. So, uh, but so anyhow, yeah, about 90% of the stocks on the gold miners index are on buy signals. So you got a strong market. You just don't want to get too enthusiastic about it. So right. you don't want 100% of the stocks on buy signals because if you do, you're going to get a correction. Right. So, but right. Yeah, it's still okay. I mean, it's getting up there, but. Here's a here's a one for kind of uh, chart number seven. Yes, I have it. Clues, yeah, um, of of when probably some worthwhile highs will form. Not a top of any consequence, but the middle window is the weekly XAU gold ratio, and above that is the RSI for that ratio. Okay, this is on a weekly time frame, and so when the that. RSI for the weekly XAU gold ratio gets up around 70 or higher. Normally, which is our little red lines across the chart, you can get consolidations that may last several weeks. So, something to look for. Well, listen, man, Tim, it's always a pleasure. Thank you so much for the great education. Look forward to speaking to you on Tuesday.
All right. Talk to you next week. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. one. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. The stock market is a delicate, interconnecting web of commodities, equities, and trader psychology. When one string of the web is pulled, it has a ripple effect across the broader market. This is where opportunity lies. But how are you to gather all of this information into one cohesive model when you're already spending your energy looking for any possible trade opportunities? Luckily, you don't have to worry about that, as Tom O'Brien has brought all important market news to you in one single newsletter, Market Insights. Market Insights provides a daily overview of what's happening in the indexes, bonds, gold, and more. Follow along with Tom daily as he analyzes the components that affect the overall movement of the stock market, giving insight into how each one plays either a bullish or bearish role. Tom also analyzes specific equities that he believes has the potential to make huge returns, and his track record proves his analysis right. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Don't let the market leave you in the dust. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand. Having the latest market advice can help you turn this chaos into a key for creating winning trades. At TFNN, we understand that it can be hard to find reliable market news. That's why each of our market experts offers their very own market newsletter. A must-have tool for every trader out there striving to find an edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets so you can analyze the market before you trade. Try any of our great newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Just visit the Newsletters tab on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Sit down. Dow's off 566, Nasdaq's off 435, S&P's are off 87. Let's go just take a look at... Uh, where these ETFs are set up here. So if we take a look at the SPY first. Yeah, this is, you know, this is, like, this is a last engulfing, man. So this is going to be interesting to see how this shakes out. Last engulfing means you start higher, you end at the lows after a downtrend, which we get going. It looks disgusting, which it does. Uh, but <laughs> you guys get, you get, but guess what? If it if it goes, it's only going to be a bounce, folks, because these these gaps underneath want to get filled. Go to the Qs. Let's take a look at the Qs. The Qs, same set. Oh, yeah. Look at the expansion of volume. It's still less than what we're going into, but you get a good expansion of volume. And, and the Qs, but the Qs, the Qs have a, a gap at 427, which is really wild. And we're we're at 459. You know. So bottom line is that. You get a two-way market here, a lot of good trade in here, but there's no two ways about it. Um, it looks to me like the, that we are going to get into this uh, lower range, though. And, the lower, and we broke out of the lower range May 15th. We've already come back to those levels now. 
you break into it, and then there's, there's actually a high volume low at 422 also in the queues. So bottom line is that uh, there's going to be a lot of fun between here and coming up to October. Because when you, get, when you get action here, what I've found is that it doesn't really slow down until you get a major bottom. And most of the time that comes in in October, which is pretty cool. Then you get a, a two-way market. You can play both ways. And what happens, this is a large two-way market. You need a large two-way market. You know, a bigger consolidation so you can always grab the middle of it. Because you don't have to get the top. You don't have to get the bottom. Get in the middle of it. It's a beautiful thing. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 8.30 in the morning. Jobs numbers. It's going to be big action out here, folks. Have a great one. Have a safe one.